Hey guys, Hope Fudge here. Um, it's only been a week since I made my last video, what the fuck? Anyway, um, alright, this video will be a, the four questions that uh, my friend Kelly posed in her last video. Um, the, um, I'm sure you'll find it, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, watch it. She did a very good job, made some very good points, which I'll be addressing in a future video. Uh, when she called me out on uh, on there being no jobs in Maine, which I might have been exaggerating. I was exaggerating, but yeah. I'll stand by what I said, and uh, personal experience and people that I know um, outside of our cir social circle um, that we share. So, the four questions. The first one was, who are you? Oh, who is anybody, really? But no, I am Hope Fudge. I've uh, that on various social media sites, but my legal name is David. Now, a lot of people call me Jamie, but that's because my middle name is James. And from the time that I can remember, my mother would call me Jamie, and that stuck. Um, reverting back to David, or Dave, whatever, um, was more out of laziness to correct people. And I guess it wouldn't even be a correction, but you know what I mean. Um, it was, I went back to David when I got hired at John F. Murphy Homes, uh, where you take care of, not take care, but be there for, um, people with mental disabilities, um, and you have to keep a certain distance emotionally from them, um, so my friends would call me Jamie at that time, um, a few of them would call me Jamie Puke, because I think MySpace was around back then. Or it was just fading out, and my name on there was uh, Jamie Puke. Uh, before it became Hell Fudge on there. Um, and yeah, it, that's basically it. It was to keep emotionally separated, and then it stuck. And now, now I don't care. My son calls me Dave, which... Um, I feel neither one way or the other about really, it doesn't matter, um, but he started calling me Dave, because everyone else called me Dave, um, and he knows, he knows the word daddy and everything, obviously he's three, but, uh, I don't care, it, I think it's cute, so I let him get away with it. I don't think it's cute, well, yeah, it's hell, it's really cute when he says grown-up words, but he's getting better at that and not saying them. Video games. What are you going to do? The second question is, where are you from? Well, what an interesting question. I was born in Bath, Maine, at a hospital that no longer exists. So, getting a birth certificate, pain in the ass. Which I found out a few years ago when I moved to California. Um... Then, moved to a town called Friendship in Maine. Um, um, I don't remember any of that. I was like one or two. Um, that's when my biological father um, ran out on us, leaving us in a small trailer. None of this is firsthand, of course. I mean, I was there. I just don't have the recollection of it. So, there you go. Um, we moved to a, uh, an apartment in Brunswick, uh, behind the church on Main Street, the big one, like in the little roundabout area, um, near Hannaford, um, and the mall, uh, the park mall, not the shopping mall, um, so that always, that always messed me up. Um, from there, we moved, my mom met my stepdad, 
who I, I've forgiven him now, but he was kind of an abusive prick growing up um, until I could finally fight back. But yeah, that that got pretty bad. Whatever. It's actually one of the reasons my mom cited when they filed for divorce uh, just a few years ago. Just a few years ago. Um, so I don't even know if he's my stepdad anymore. I'm gonna still call him that because you know whatever he's been there for me whenever I needed him after the beatings and hitting and stuff stopped. Um, from we moved to Topsom. Um, and I never realized that at the time, but we were pretty poor. Um, <laughs> we lived in a trailer park, which should have been the first giveaway, but whatever. I was, uh, I was young. And then from there, uh, we moved to Bodenham, which is a small town, used to be called Cadence Landing, um, back in the day, before the, uh, before everything. And, uh... Yeah, it used to be a big, big shipbuilding uh, facility there, but that all ended in the 20s with a giant fire, um, which I actually fictionalized in a horror story back in high school. Uh, if I had written it after Columbine, I probably would have been suspended or expelled or at least looked at. Uh, it was really, really, really gory. Um, and people getting crucified and shot at school and shit, so yeah. Um... But, uh, that was an 11th grade writing assignment, so, whatever. Uh, the teacher seemed to like it. She didn't seem worried. Those damn Columbine kids ruining everything. Uh. Um, from Bodenham, I moved to Gardner, um, in a really cool building, um, Myself and my girlfriend at the time, Andrea, and our daughter, Chelsea, lived in this apartment. There was, a, like, a, three people that lived here. They were annoying, but whatever. They were quiet. Until they started partying, which was fucking annoying. Uh, up here, up here, uh, my friend Nate and my friend Chris uh, lived. Um, Nate's still a really good friend. Chris is still on my Facebook. Uh, he... They both introduced me to some really good music like Skinny Puppy and Lust Mord, um, and, no, a lot. Frontline Assembly and everything. So, uh, I need more coffee. Goddamn. It was, uh, my friend Matt that, uh, introduced me to Einster, Zendi, New Botten, and Throbbing Gristle and things like that. Um, we worked together at Envisionet in Brunswick. Um... From Gardner, um, after a fairly rough breakup, it, it was rough, on me at least, because um, it was pretty much tearing apart my entire uh, life there, um, because obviously she she has the child, uh, Chelsea, with, with her still, and uh, yeah, it still hurts, but more for the sake of my daughter... I don't really give a fuck about Andrea. She's kind of crazy. Um, anyway, if you're watching this, Andrea, I was kidding. Okay? Don't kill me. Anyway, it was it was a rough breakup, and yeah, most of it was my fault, because I'm a guy, and I'll accept blame. Anyway. Um, from there, I moved to Lewiston uh, with Nate and Chris, who lived in my prior building. Um... Really cool place, um, but then this shit happened, and I moved in with my friend Nanan, who Kelly met once, and Nanan managed to piss Kelly off and myself off at the same time, but whatever. Freedom of speech. <laughs> um, moved in her, with her until she got pregnant and was... Uh, she got pregnant, and her boyfriend was a complete ass. And he moved in. Um, so, I moved in with my dad temporarily. Uh, this is after the, my mom and stepdad got divorced, but that didn't work out. So, I moved back in with Nate and Chris. Um, started working at JFM. Met Gohar, who in Maine was known as Regina, because Armenians don't belong in Maine. 
and they have to hide their identity, apparently, um, other than wearing a uh, Armenian flag pin. And then, from there, we moved from Lewiston to Auburn, and from Auburn to Van Nuys, California. And there I am. Um, oh my god, it's been ten minutes, and I'm only on the second question. Okay, um, third, where do you work, and blah blah blah. I work at one of the biggest plumbing um, companies in Los Angeles. Um, I work at the office, I'm not a plumber. You can tell by 7-Eleven coffee that I don't, I don't make that much money, but I make enough. It's a pretty cool place to work. I mean, most of my coworkers are idiots. Um, spelling and grammar and everything wise. Um, people call out every week, but it's an office. They do that everywhere, so whatever. Um, I've been there for about two years. Um, before that, I worked at U.S. Tax Shield, which was a great company to work for. I'm really sad that they scaled back or got more EAs. Um, not sad for them that they got that. I'm sad for myself because I really liked that job, and it was in the perfect location, and I could just go downstairs on an elevator and go to Starbucks. So that was cool. My current job, there's no downstairs, and if I go across the street, there's an overpriced liquor store where a can of expired soda is a dollar, but you don't know if it's expired because they blocked off the expiration date. Classy. Anyway. Um, do I see myself leaving there anytime soon? No. No. Um, they're good. And we're moving locations, so that should be better. Um, yeah, I take the bus there. I have a car. It's a 2013 uh, Jetta. But it just makes more sense to take, take the bus. Uh, it's cheaper, gas-wise, and also less traffic for me to sit in. And I can read a book. Well, I'm, if, I, if I am stuck in traffic. Uh, sometimes it makes me ridiculously early for work, but whatever. I have books. There's a TV there and a treadmill. I'm trying to convince them to get a uh, weight room, but we'll see. All right, last question. Most embarrassing moment of my life? That's a good question, because what qualifies as embarrassing? Uh, I've split my pants before, um, although it was dark and I don't think anybody saw. Um... I guess the most embarrassing moment of my life is when I lost my temper uh, and punched a wall. Never happened to me before. Uh, hasn't happened since. But I felt like crap after. Oh my god. It was embarrassing for me personally. Because like, I never lose control. I, I barely show any emotion at all. Um, by choice. I mean, why show it? I mean, why? Someone has to keep a cool head in especially stressful situations. But no, I just lost control. My all, all of my buttons were pushed, and I lost control. I was screaming, I was yelling. Not like, ah, but like yelling at the top of my lungs like as if I was still singing for American Standard, only with anger. More anger. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was embarrassing. So um, I'm just thankful that I had enough self-control to not hit the person that was making me stressed out and mad because I probably want to be here today. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> not what you're thinking. Uh, but yeah, no, I had enough self-control to not not hit that person. So, proud of that. But, the hitting the wall and screaming and shit, uh, the f uh, so fucking stupid of me. Alright. Those were the four questions. I'll be back in a little bit with another video.